From airlines like Delta in the United States to Lufthansa in Germany, Boeing, the American aerospace company, has been dominating the world of aviation over the last five decades. The iconic Boeing 777 has been a staple in many fleets, and now it seems like the American manufacturer is ready to take things one step further. When the original 777 made its debut back in the 90s, it was already setting the world of aviation on fire with cutting-edge technology and a new innovative approach. However, across the pond, the European manufacturer Airbus was still readying itself for the competitive battle, with a new and improved version of the A350 and a solid A380 already making waves in wide-body long-haul travel. So what is it about the new 777X that is so special, and why do many experts agree that it will change the way of long-haul travel in the future? Join us today as we dive into the new 777X and find out what Boeing has been up to. There is no denying that the original version of the Boeing 777 already made waves in the world of aviation. This wide-body twin-engine jet is powered by the original G90 engines and has a wingspan of nearly 200 feet. It typically accommodates a 10-abreast seating configuration in a typical three-class layout giving it a capacity of between 301 and 368 passengers. Finally, it boasts an impressive range of 7,370 nautical miles and can easily fly nonstop from New York to Dubai. But with Airbus unveiling a revamped A350 in 2013, a response was needed, and thanks to already using 3D technology in the development of Boeing planes, engineers could easily see where and how they could improve the aircraft. You see, the new A350 XWB would aim to replace the dying ambitions of the A380 and offer airlines the opportunity to focus on new markets. Since profit margins in aviation are slim and the break-even fare for the A380 is already at 85%, filling up the super jumbo became tricky. So what is different? By now, you have probably all heard about the fact that the A380 and A350 are often labeled as being too big for certain airports. The downside to this is that it limits the market these massive aircraft can tap into. However, the solution from Boeing is the folding wingtip design, which would make the 777X far more efficient than any of the competition. In fact, a wingtip control system has been added to the cockpit, which enables the pilot to fold the wings upon command. Since the 777X will have the same wingspan as the Boeing 787, it is still quite massive, stretching an enormous 235.5 feet or 71.8 meters. However, once folded, it comes down to a size of 212.6 feet or 64.8 meters, making it the perfect fit for smaller airports, like Brandenburg Airport in Germany, which only has a Category E rating. However, this new beast needs some serious power, and this is where General General Electric comes into the fray. You see, the American engine manufacturer has partnered with Boeing to design the new GE9X engines, an upgrade over the previous generation of GE9 engines, exclusively for the Boeing 777X. According to Boeing engineers, these engines would produce a whopping 105,000 lbf or 469 kn of thrust when the aircraft is being flown. By making use of lightweight composite materials and the additional factor of additive manufacturing, Boeing managed to strip significant levels of weight from these engines by removing more than 200 parts. The idea is to reduce the overall parasite drag and make the aircraft more fuel efficient. In fact, recent estimates suggest that the 777X will be around 10% more efficient than the original 777 models. However, it will be even more efficient with claims of 15% when compared to the original Rolls-Royce Trent 800 engines. So, in short, it will be an efficient and more affordable aircraft that can take over the world of long-haul travel. However, you might be wondering what is in store for the insides of this new giant. Well, for starters, it will have a more than 30% increase in seating capacity compared to the original 777, with recent estimates suggesting that the 777X could house around 426 passengers in a standard two-class configuration with a twin aisle 343 setup. Each seat would be around 18 inches, which is half an inch wider than the original 747-400. Additionally, it will have windows located 16% higher up on the fuselage, while giving passengers a much larger and 
an easier to use luggage compartment. According to Boeing representatives, the aircraft should give passengers a better experience in terms of natural lighting, while adding a much more functional view for those with window seats. The best way to sum up the new interior of the 777X is to consider it a combination of all the best features found on the current 777 and the 787 Dreamliner aircraft. But with airlines like Emirates also planning to add things like their famous augmented reality system. But the delays just keep on coming. You see, the first Boeing 777X to take flight was set to take place in 2018, but due to numerous setbacks, including a delay during COVID-19, the first flight was pushed back to 2020. The first official flight to take place took off in December 2020, with aircraft November 779 X-Ray Whiskey successfully taking off and flying. But according to Airbus CEO Tim Clark, the official delivery date has been pushed back to 2025. As of this video, numerous orders have already been placed for this new aircraft, with Lufthansa being the first to place orders for 34 777 variants, and an additional order for 8 7788 freighter aircraft. Cathay Pacific and Emirates have also joined the order book, having orders for almost 200 of these aircraft. However, the 777X is still awaiting official certification from the Federal Aviation Administration, or FAA. By the time you see this video, they might have already gotten certification, as it is expected to receive this by the end of 2023, or at least by quarter one of 2024. However, something new might pop up and add to the delays, but it seems like Boeing and General Electric are working hard to make sure the first 777X will be delivered by 2025. So what does it cost? It currently is estimated that the commercial 777 will be around $442.2 million each, while the 777-8 variant follows closely behind at $410.2 million. Unfortunately, this still makes these new jumbo jets more expensive than the A350 by more than $100 million. However, Boeing tries to combat this price offset by offering its customers more customization. You see, Singapore Airlines has already mentioned their plans for a new first-class product. It also seems that due to the cost-saving design of the wings and the fuselage, which should significantly reduce the cost of operating one of the Boeings, airlines can play around more with the break-even fare. This means that even if they cannot fill up the aircraft, it should still be able to generate a profit, even with razor-thin profit margins. But Airbus is undoubtedly trying to combat this with new additions of the A330neo for their regional market and still heavily dependent on the A350 for their largest customers like Emirates. As of this video, we can only sit and speculate about what the new Boeing 777X will actually bring to the table and if it can effectively boot Airbus from the aviation market. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the Boeing 777X world, make sure you don't miss out on our next video, where we explore the reasons behind why Emirates is forced to use its A380s. Dive into another captivating story by clicking right here and uncover the secrets of the aviation world. See you there.